Hey future middle level teachers, welcome to week 5 in MLED 480 middle level methods. I apologize if any of you looked at the content area ahead of time. I just got the instructions revised this evening. So anyway, to let you know what we're going to be doing this week is you are going to be watching a science teacher named Audrey. You'll watch her again, but um, the lesson that you're going to be seeing involves a little bit of differentiation. So what I'm asking you to do is if you follow the instructions in part one, you'll end up at this site here, which is Case Studies in Science Education. I want you to scroll down to number 24, which is Audrey Year 1, Grade 8. And the situation was that Audrey was a social studies teacher who found herself teaching 8th grade science for the first time. Um, it's very insightful on what she does to help her middle level students, particularly in the area of differentiation. Once you watch that video, I want you to think about what you've seen so far, read so far in This We Believe in Action, and also those first 30 pages that you've read in Managing the Madness, and then also from week two, the 16 characteristics PDF that you read from the Association of Middle Level Educators. Well, after you've skimmed through those readings again, I'd like for you to think about these questions that are listed below. I've set up a Google Doc again, just like this past week, and you'll see that I want you again to sign up for at least two questions in the colored part. So, um, I just put your name on the questions that you want to, to respond to. And then these last four questions, this one included K through N, I want everyone to respond to. So I'll put the all students on this one as well, so not to confuse you there. So you'll do that. And then also, I want you to begin thinking about a middle level unit plan that you can make throughout the rest of this semester for your content area. So it's not going to be due today or this week. Um, it's just baby steps. I want you to go ahead and think about what your unit could be. And then also, I would like for you to um, do some research on your own about understanding by design in your content area. And then I do have some resources on understanding by design located in our D2L content area for this week. And then also there is a folder down at the bottom that's called Understanding UBD Resources. So start thinking about what you would like to do. And as you can see, I've got the questions um, spelled out to choose two questions from A through J. Everyone should respond from K through N. And then think about a unit in your content area that designed for 6 through 8. And then think about the con this content process and product. Those three items will be what you can use to help differentiate for your students. You're going to have high ability learners. You might have some that are need some additional support. So content process and product are ways that you can do this. And as always, if you have any questions, please post to the D2L discussion area. Keep up the great discussion. For those of you that have been participating each week, I've been very pleased with what I've been reading. So keep moving forward 
in the same manner that you have been. You're off to a great start. Thanks for listening, everybody, and have a great